Hello and welcome to the Deployment Guy, which is a helpful channel for people just starting out in the worlds of Intune, Autopilot and all things OSD. Making the jump from on-prem services to cloud services like Autopilot and Intune is becoming more and more popular. However, some people doing these migrations seem to stumble at the first hurdle of finding the easiest way of getting their devices into Autopilot. I spoke with a tech recently who was going through this migration process and their MSP literally had them walking around almost 200 devices with a USB stick with PowerShell commands and capturing this information manually and it was literally taking them hours and hours. I knew they had access to Config Manager so I showed them a super easy way and they literally had it done in minutes. And I'm going to show you how we do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Config Manager and go to Monitoring, Expand Reporting and then we're going to select Hardware and General. In here you'll see there's a report called Windows Autopilot Device Information. We're going to right click that and run. Give that a moment. And as you can see, it's produced a report and the headers are device serial number, window product ID, and hardware hash, which is what we need for the CSV file when uploading to autopilot. So next we're going to select export to put CSV. And we'll save it in downloads as Windows Autopilot device information and save. Now once we've exported the CSV, we need to edit it so the autopilot will accept it. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the first three columns as we don't need these. And obviously the first three rows as they're empty anyway. Next we need to edit the headings. So the first heading is going to be device serial number. So I'll remove the first bits and put the spaces in. I'll do the same again for the next column which is going to be Windows product ID. So I'll remove the first bits again and add the spaces. Now what I tend to do is I tend to remove the contents up here, otherwise you will get a duplication error when uploading these. The next column, I'm going to rename completely to hardware hash. And this bit's optional, but if you use group tags, type in the header group tag, then underneath this you can add in group tags. So staff device, I'm going to copy this down to a few of the other devices. And under here, student device, oh, if I can spell. And then copy this down again to the others. And then I'm going to save this. So once you've edited your CSV file, you're going to go to the Intune, select devices, windows, windows enrollment, select devices and as you can see at the moment there's no devices in there so we're going to select import then we're going to browse to the csv file we've just created in the downloads folder select the csv file and then open as you can see it's formatted correctly we need 10 devices select import I'll give that a few moments and now that the import process is complete as you can see all 10 devices are now in autopilot with the correct group tag. Hopefully you can see how easy this process is and this video has been useful for you. If it has, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. This has been the Deployment Guy. Thanks for watching.